what's in store for the YouTube channel Carlinio9 in 2022? Some of you might have guessed already. Whatever. Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Carl. Today's video is gonna be a very different video today, but before I get into all that stuff, can I please take this opportunity to say a massive thank you to every single one of you out there that has taken the time to press that subscribe button. All my new subscribers, all my old subscribers, all those fabulous YouTube channels out there, everybody that's taken the time to watch my videos and comment as well, thank you so, so much because it means so much and without you guys, I wouldn't be sitting here now. So today's video is gonna be a channel update video. It's the start of a brand new year. I thought I'd do one of these. I've never actually done an update video before, especially not as big as this. I just feel personally from the heart that the channel needs to change slightly. Not a lot, but just a little bit. So I'm gonna get into what's coming on the channel. You better say something or they'll think you're stupid. So quite a few people have been asking me in the comments, Carl, please could you do a room tour? Well, this is the perfect opportunity for a room tour because these have just gone up behind me and this is the perfect opportunity. So I'm gonna try and do a room tour for you. Why am I laughing? I'll explain when I get there. Give the people what they want. I'm also gonna do a little wall tour as well, just to try and make things a little bit more interesting. I'm gonna go through the equipment I use and it's January, start of a brand new year. Perhaps many of you out there are thinking of starting your own YouTube channel. Or perhaps maybe you've already got a YouTube channel and it's getting you down and you're thinking about giving up. Well, this part of the video will be for you because I'm not the world's fantastic YouTuber out there. I know that. I haven't got thousands and thousands of subscribers. I make mistakes. It takes me ages to edit my videos. I know that. But what I can offer you is two years of experience on YouTube. I can try and give you a little bit of advice, what I've learned, and also I can tell you about my regrets when I first started YouTube. Okay, shall we get on to this big update of 2022? I did say there was a big update, and I feel that things need to change because when I first started YouTube in the winter of 2019, I wanted this channel to be a review channel for movies at the cinema. That's what I really wanted to do. That was my passion. And I soon found out quickly that that was not gonna happen for this channel, for me personally. Because having twin boys with learning difficulties, I can't just go to the cinema just like that and watch a movie every time a film comes out. It takes a lot of planning for me because I've got to get carers in to look after the boys and it just was not gonna work. So I needed to switch things around in order for the channel Carlino 9 to survive. So I switched to probably what the channel is best and renowned for, and that is physical media. And it's still going to continue, but I'm at that stage now where I think, what if? So I need to give this a go. And this is where I said in my intro, probably many of you have guessed already. So what I've decided is I'm going to review more TV dramas, which I've started already. I'm also going to be covering a lot of Netflix and Disney Plus, whether that be movies or whether that be TV series. Also, I've added an extra half a popcorn. Someone has been very greedy, their eyes are too big for their bellies and they've left half a popcorn. And I needed to add this half a popcorn because I felt so far when I've been reviewing TV dramas and movies that I've either overscored them or underscored them. Not all the time, but occasionally that has happened. So now that I've got this half a popcorn, I feel that I'm able to score it a lot better better. So like I say, not much has changed. That is the big change. There's still going to be the physical media side. I'm still going to do my Blu-ray and 4K pickups. There is still going to be Monday unboxings, but not as many. You might have guessed already a lot of them had 
faded out slightly. And there's two reasons for that. One is the expense, because this was my next Monday unboxing planned. That is priced at £149.99p. That is a lot of money for a Monday unboxing. And when you think about it, at the end of the day, it is just free 4K movies. So I'm gonna slow down a little bit on the Monday unboxings. The second reason is the space. If we take Mulholland Drive, for instance, I did a Monday unboxing on this one. And then you take your standard Blu-ray. So you've already got the size difference. As you can see, side by side, a standard Blu-ray against the special edition pack there. So space is a big part of that, especially with these new shelves going up. But there are still gonna be the trailer reactions. I'm still gonna be doing the out and about videos, whether that's me going on holiday with the family, me doing my Blu-ray and 4K hunting, Perhaps I go out meeting other fantastic YouTubers in the community like I've already done with Big Paulie and Jamie Powell and Kermit's Ghost. There's still going to be rankings, there's still going to be actors and actresses, specials. And I also might, for 2022, <laughs> we'll see, try a live stream. I promised a couple of YouTubers in the community that I would do a live stream with them on this channel here. But to be honest with you, and you might not think it, I haven't had the bottle to go live yet. I love going on other people's live streams. But when you do a live for yourself, you're in control <laughs> and anything can happen. Anything can go wrong, basically. And I just have not had the confidence. So I might go live. We will see. That is all the update for 2022. Not a lot has changed, just my reviews for TV dramas, Netflix and Disney+. Plus. I really do hope that is okay for this channel and for you guys. If things don't work out, then obviously I will have to change things around. Okay, shall we begin this room tour? Oh yeah! I've switched to my iPhone for this part of the video. Are you ready for this room tour? In three, two, one. Ta da! Chess pokoto da Chris da Krenko. Oki aku ki da kulaku. Sorry, I was having a chat with Greedo there. Translating what Greedo says, it's a dining room. It's a dining room that I'm in the middle of painting. Of course it is. I would love to be able to have a spare room or recording studio, but unfortunately I only have a dining room, which I'm more than grateful for. It's where we sit down and have our meals, the five of us. But what I can show you, are these amazing fitted shelves that I've just had installed. I had a guy that came in who I know who made these from scratch. If you remember before I was using the white shelves, they were starting to get a little bit messy. They were from Argus and they were very good. They were cheap, but boy, did they hold a lot of movies. The only trouble is it wasn't sitting flush with the doorway. It was going past the doorway. So these shelves are a lot better because they are exactly how I wanted them. You might see that piece of wood going straight down the center of where I'm showing you now. Unfortunately, that I couldn't help that. I have to have that in because if we decide to move any time, at least I can dismantle this unit in two parts, take it with me and get it through that doorway. That's the most important thing. Just gonna explain what I've done quickly. I don't know whether I'm actually gonna keep it this way. Right at the top, we've got the Star Wars 4Ks. We've got a little bit of TV next to that. Then it's my Steelbooks. Then I have the HMV Premiums, the 88 Films, the 101 Films. Then it's my Arrow Collection. Then it's the 4Ks. Then it's the standard Blu-rays. Right at the bottom, we've got my DVDs. And there's also a cupboard down there, which I have from memorabilia on my YouTube journey. All those letters I've received from other brilliant YouTubers, I've kept them. They're in there. Cinema tickets, that sort of thing. There's also a few Funko Pops as well. Okay, I'll leave you with some music to look around for a minute or two.
Total Film magazines, we've got a Han Solo Hoff. On top of the fridge for now, we've got a Han Solo Endor. Anyone would think Han Solo is my favorite Star Wars character. Oh, he is. <laughs> and I've really got to get these made. I love American police cars. We've got a California Highway Patrol 1978 Dodge Monaco. Might have seen that one in Chips. And next to that, we've got a TJ Hooker police car that I really need to make up as well. This one was for Christmas. We've got a Halloween Kills Michael Myers figure. Sorry about the glare. Great detail. Next, we have a Back to the Future Marty McFly, Back to the Future 2, with his hoverboard. Next to him, we have the Ghostbusters. I really want to take these out, but I, I need a display unit, really. And then, next to him, we have green mask and these next ones I've done unboxings for every single one if you're interested Michael Myers H2O mask Michael Myers 2018 mask and lastly Halloween kills Michael Myers mask and there's the Mulholland Drive special edition which is way too big joining on to my shelves using the iPhone so please bear with me I'll try and keep the shaking down to a minimum this next part of the video is the equipment I use to make YouTube videos and I'll probably be honest it's probably going to benefit the more experienced YouTuber out there I really don't think you'd probably start off with this equipment when you first start your YouTube journey I know I didn't when I first started I used a mobile phone and it was perfectly okay. And I think a lot of other YouTubers in the community, they still use their mobile phones and there's nothing wrong with their videos at all. It's really good picture. It's probably a lot easier as well, if I'm honest. I bought this camera quite a while ago now. It's the Canon M50. And obviously I make videos. My daughter said she was gonna get into photography, so I needed a decent camera. Does she do photography? Bloody course she doesn't. So it's a good job I use this for making my videos. Otherwise it would just be a complete waste. It's a Canon M50, it shoots in 4K. Obviously got great picture quality, great zoom on there as well. There is quite a lot you can actually do with this camera, although I don't really understand it. So I don't do a lot with it, but I know you can do a lot of stuff on there. If we go around to the back, you can see this screen here. This turns right the way around so I can see what I'm actually doing. I use this little remote control here, which I bought on Amazon, very cheap. If I press this button, it should come on. There you go. And there you can see what I'm shooting that's recording right now. If I press it again, and you can saw, saw the flash there, it stopped recording. And that's the Canon M50. It takes in a standard SD memory card. You can do a lot with it, but I don't actually really understand it that much. And I sh really should do, because I know it's a waste and you can do a lot. I'm also using this tripod that it actually fits on. It, basically, you can have it on the floor and have it really up high if you wanted to, but mine's obviously on the table. 
The microphone I was actually using was this one down here, and there was nothing wrong with this microphone, but if you watch some of my videos, I did get occasionally a lot of interference. Um, every time I cut my video, there was a get that sort of noise. I don't think that has anything to do with the microphone. This video, this is my first time, this arrived the other day. I am now using a Blue Yeti microphone. Now, this is the first time I've actually used it. And the beginning of this video, it took me six times to do because every time I did it perfectly all the way through, when I played it back, there was no sound. You need the laptop to power the Blue Yeti microphone via a USB. And I worked it out in the end, every time the laptop was falling asleep, the Yeti microphone, there was no sound recording, so that was no good. I'd start off with basically sound on my voice on the video, and then halfway through the video, I'd just go quiet. And I think it was down, well, I hope it is down to the computer falling asleep. I've now got the computer constantly on, so I will find out when I progress with this video, but I am now gonna use the Blue Yeti microphone, so you'll notice possibly a better sound quality. Moving on to the lights, I use these two huge lights. They're from Amazon, they're very cheap, and that's one with the cover off. If I show you the bulbs, that is how big the bulb is. This one here compared to a standard light bulb. So how do I make the videos? Well, obviously we film on the Canon M50. When we've done a final video and they're all in little bits, we transfer the SD card into the laptop and then I have to get all the good ones I've put together. And once I've done that, I transfer all the images from the laptop over onto my iPhone. And on the iPhone, I'm using iMovie to edit all the videos and join them all together. And it works sometimes. It comes free with Apple, obviously. It's called iMovie. And you can't complain because it is free, but it isn't the best out there. But it's okay, it does its job. Once I've got my full video, I then save the video on my iPhone and then I upload it to YouTube. And that is how I make my YouTube videos. I'll be back. So the last part of this video, what advice can I give anybody out there thinking of starting a YouTube channel for this year? My advice would be to you, please, please stop thinking and just go for it. Honestly, build up that confidence, whether you're showing your face on camera or whether you've just got hands and you're just filming what you've actually got. I'm trying to get my brother-in-law into YouTube and start a channel up because he knows so much about vinyls. And I said, you don't have to show your face, just have your camera, shoot what you've got, talk about it. Just honestly start your YouTube channel journey because you never know where it might take you. I have met some amazing people in the YouTube community. Everybody I can think of is just so helpful and so nice. You do not have to have an expensive camera when you first start. Take a look at my first video. Last Christmas is in cinemas now. This is a real feel good film. It's a drama, comedy and romance directed by Paul Vague and the movie lasts for one hour, 43 minutes. There you go, you see, you do not have to use an expensive camera. That was just using my mobile phone, full of nerves. That took me absolutely ages to film because I didn't know about cuts and things. Just start your YouTube channel, honestly, please. What regrets do I have about YouTube? I only ever have one regret. Now, if you look at my first videos, when I first started YouTube, I always wanted to do movie reviews. I've said that before, but I didn't start off YouTube that way. I had a problem with my Nissan, which I put on YouTube. I also did a lot of fun videos with a few friends and it took off from there. But because I didn't really go into movies as such straight away, what could I do? I had my username, which was, of course, you've guessed it, 
Carlinio9. Carlinio9 is a user name. It was my username when I first started YouTube. Carlinio, people used to call me Carlinio when I used to play football. Number nine was my old shirt number. And it's a username. That is why I have the name Carlinio9. That is my regret on YouTube. If I knew what I knew now, I wouldn't be using Carlinio9. It would be something to do with movies. So if you are thinking of starting a YouTube channel, my advice would be whichever that may be, whether it's vinyls, movies, um, cars, football, think of a name that is going to represent you. Um, and your channel, basically, because I would never use Carlinio 9. But, you know, that is where I am. I can't change it now because it's gone so far. You can Google Carlinio 9, it comes up. So I will not change it now. Number two, one of the most important bits of advice I can give you is have fun and enjoy what you're doing. I had so much fun making my videos in the past. I still enjoy what I'm doing. Because if you look at my intros, you can tell I had a lot of fun making those. And that is the most important thing because if you lose that fun and enjoyment, then there's no point in doing it. Number three, this is really important. Never give up. Once you start, do not give up. It takes around about 30 odd videos for YouTube to recognize your channel, I think, and start putting your channel out there. So you're gonna start off very low subs. I had 30 subscribers for around about four months. And I was happy with the 30 subscribers. They were people I knew, but I was still happy with the 30 subscribers. Never give up. You can imagine making 30 odd videos, for instance, and then think about giving up. All those 30 videos have gone to waste. All that hard work you have put in has just gone to waste. All that hard work you have put in has gone to waste. I went through a bit of a downer before Christmas where YouTube was taking up a lot of my time and I had the decision to make, do I give up or do I take a little break? I took a little break because I thought, what's the point in telling everyone else not to give up and I give up? I took a break and it's okay to take a short break if it's getting on top of you, but try to remember, once you start, never give up. Another important thing to mention is you're going to probably get negative feedback from a lot of people. I got so many negative feedbacks. A lot of people were giving me abuse. A lot of people were saying, worst video I've ever seen, you should give up. That sort of thing. You have to be thick skinned and ignore those comments that people make. If someone says something bad about you, delete it, ignore it because they will just put you down. Carry on with what you're doing, and remember, enjoy what you're doing. And the final piece of advice I can give anybody out there, try not to look at your sub count. I know it's very, very difficult, especially when you first start YouTube. I was looking at my sub count every single day, but the subs, they go up and down all the time. My subs go up and down all the time. I only look at my subs, probably about once a week if I can. So try to avoid looking at your subs every single day, like I used to. And that is the end of this video. I really do hope those changes work out for this channel. I hope you're not too disappointed with those changes as well. Please do join me in those comments. If there is anything you want to ask me, now is the time to ask me. I will try and get back to you with an answer. Anything about the equipment, my videos, any ideas that you want me to make a video in the future, I will definitely note that down. This is your chance. Anything you want to say to me, put it down in the comments below. I'd love to read them. I really do hope you're not disappointed with those changes. It's still going to be the same channel. It's still going to be me. It's still going to be physical media with everything I've said. It's just those reviews are gonna be Netflix, Disney Plus, and TV dramas for the next six to eight months. Thank you. If you like this video, please do give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe if you can because it really does help the channel out. Thank you so much for your time, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye-bye.